Hi guys, I have an update concerning the problems I mentioned yesterday with Affinity Photo or concerning the suggestions I made. Um, Affinity has an absolutely wonderful working forum uh, and you get mostly uh, always um, instant reply if you ask there any questions, sometimes even from the staff itself and they are really qualified. So, um, uh, first of all, I suggested to add an indicator uh, which shows the blend options within the layer. Um, I asked these questions 21 hours ago and 21 hours ago I got the first replay uh, and he's suggesting I could just type it into the layer name if it's um, if uh, blend options is applied or not. Okay, uh, that's a solution, but kind of inconvenient one because is if you forget it, you just forget it, but it's a solution. Then the second thing was add the possibility to feather blur masks non-destructively. He suggests use a vector ellipse uh, as a mask and not a raster mask. That's a pretty good idea. Uh, the only thing is, yeah, just for showing you how I did that, uh, let's delete it first. Okay, uh, I select here my ellipse tool, then I just drag it over and it's completely independent uh, what you do have here as a fill and stroke. The only, dif uh, even the, even the uh, line width is uh, just only uh, affecting the size of, um, of the mask which will generate with this. I just, uh, yeah, I switch it off completely because it does not matter. And um, so let's uh, let's stick with this totally terrible uh, color in this um, ellipse. What we can do is uh, I already move it into the center and then you see you must offer it to the square until it gets a vertical blue square to the right side then you release the left mouse button and you automatically this changes into a mask but it retains the ellipse shape so it does not change into a rasterized mask or whatever and um, you can uh, click now on effects and drag up the Gaussian blur and there you have it, your non-destructive Gaussian Blur. Uh, if you press the command key, you can alter it to top and bottom or left or right uh, or left or right simultaneously. And if you press shift and command, you can alter it uh, con uh, as constrained shape simultaneously to the center of it. Okay, that looks good. This has only one downsize. You can not invert it. I didn't, couldn't figure out it yet, but uh, as I see it, you cannot invert it. If you have something below, for example, if I add here below the RGB layer, if I add here a fill layer, let's make a new fill layer, then it's of course the complete effect like so on the top on this fill layer but um, yeah you there's just no possibility to simply select it and press for example here on the layer invert it's a uh, it's selectable but uh, it has it has no effect the only thing is uh, it resets the radius it has reset the radius somehow, but the layer invert, you see, it's uh, nothing going on. It should be now exactly the opposite. The next thing is, um, let us hide the marching ends of a selection without unselecting the selections. Yeah, it has already been there. I just uh, never have been seeing it. 
So for example, I press the command key and click on my ellipse. And with the and and with this selection also this uh, marching ends they can be distracting if you do any um, compositing. So there is um, select and then there is uh, where is it? No, it's in view. Uh, it's uh, show pixel selection and there you can disable it. And the selection, it's it's still select. Uh, the selection is still there. So, for example, if I add here a pixel layer, and uh, <clears throat> and I take some uh, take some brush. Where is my brush? Here, take a brush, and uh, I have here. Uh, Hardness 100, flow 100, and uh, opacity 100, flow 100, hardness 0, and uh, this uh, cyan color. And if I paint now, you see it's only painting where I have set my pixel layer and uh, or where I have set my selection. And uh, I just realized the selection of a blurred ellipse does not take into consideration the blur itself because what I'm painting here ends abruptly at the edge of the ellipse. And that's a little bit of difference because um, the selection should also take into consideration if it's going into blur, so more or less. I just prepare it and show it what I'm talking, show, show to you what I'm talking about. Okay, what I want to show you is what is the difference between a shape used as mask with the possibility to use the Gaussian blur in effects and true pixel-based mask which is blurred but unfortunately still destructive in Affinity Photo. If you feather it in um, Photoshop you also get the same correct selection of a feathered mask as I show it now to you here. The difference is in Photoshop you can feather the mask non-destructively what is not unfortunately yet not possible here. I'm pretty sure one day we will get a present from Serif and they added it to Affinity Photo. So let's make a copy of our ellipse. Let's switch it on, drag it to this place, click on the shape tool. This enables us to change the color. Now it's important that we select a true white and black color scheme because we are going from a shape which is interpreted by Affinity Photo always as black and white if it's used as mask. We're going from a shape into a pixel selection and there it is dependent which pixel value to have and on a mask I always want black or white. Okay, this is now the ellipse. Let's right click. Let's click rasterize to mask and now we see we have here a completely different symbol like right before, just for comparison. You almost cannot see it, but there is a tiny little symbol which looks similar like the crop tool symbol and that indicates a shape is used as mask. Okay, let's drag it back here. Let's select the mask disable it and now offer the mask to the square and you see now to the right this uh, vertical blue bar and as soon as you have the vertical blue bar you can release the left mouse button Oops. and you have applied the mask to this RGB group. Now let's select the mask. Let's go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and select uh, let's select a very very soft blur something yeah, yeah something like something like that why not and click on apply so this is now a destructively 
modified or destructively blurred ellipse, but not as ellipse, as a pixel layer. And this is now what I say a true mask. If you click now by, while pressing the command key on the mask, then you get this selection here. And because it's a pixel layer, a blurred pixel layer, we are selecting from a pixel layer which goes from white to black. We are now getting a selection which reveals to conceals. So, with this selection we made right now, I can make a new pixel layer right above my RGB group. We can select a brush with some bright color. Let's check that the brush mode is, blend mode is also normal. And if I paint now, do you see what happens? If we paint now, we get now the transition. Also while painting, I get, let's get rid of the marching ends. This is few show pixel selection. We switch off the marching ends, but still retain the mask. We do not deselect the mask. And you see, this is now a transition within the selection itself. If I pr if we press if we press Command D for deselect the selection, we can now paint also here. If we reselect, select, reselect, we get the selection back, and we can only paint inside the revealed selection. That's the difference to the effect we got right before when we are using a shape as a mask and blurring the edge of the shape. When we have been selecting by pressing command left click on the other mask, we have been seeing a mask with the transition, but the selection itself was picked up by the sharp edge of of the oops of the ellipse without taking in consideration that we have blurred the mask that's the difference and uh, just wanted to make you a little bit get us explain that to you maybe this is now uh, has now been a little bit too much for this add-on video but um, I hope I could give you a little bit uh, sensitivity or sensibility what can happen. If for example some things do not work in software like Affinity Photo or Photoshop, it's by 99.999% not necessary to reinstall the computer, to reinstall the software, whatever. Uh, it's most probably it's some weird settings like for example having having a selection but without marching ends and you are not aware of it. If you switch on the marching ends, you see you have something selected because you can paint here. If I switch off the marching ends, you can paint here, we can paint here and nothing happens because we are not within the selection. We can only paint here. If we deselect then by command D, I can paint here. If we reselect, there is no short key, short key for it. We select. We can no longer paint here. Another bad thing is, for example, if you have the ellipse here, if you have a dark color and you have bright color for your brush and you set your blend mode to darken, just to show what I mean. I make here a new pixel layer. If I paint now, oh, we still have the mask selected. Command D. Oops, command D. If we, if we paint now, we get here now our bright painting. Also, if the blend mode is on darken, because the pixel layer is empty, it will always paint. If you are here on the ellipse and the pixel layer is selected to darken, 
And if you paint, okay, the assistant of Affinity Photo automatically made a pixel layer and we can always paint on an empty pixel layer. So for that, let's uh, make a copy of the ellipse and let's by right clicking it and click on rasterize, let's rasterize the ellipse to a pixel layer. Switch this off. We have now the blend mode of the brush to darken. And if I try now to paint with a brighter color, as this color is onto this layer, you see nothing happens. Okay, outside here something happens because here we have no pixels. But here I cannot paint because the blend mode of the brush, not of the layer. You see brush can have its own blend mode is set to darken. If you set this back to normal, we can paint. If you set this to screen, we can paint because green is brighter than the purple. If we set it to soft light, we can paint a little bit. If you set it to overlay, it's a soft light on steroids. If we say lighten, we can also paint because the color of the brush is lighter as the color of we are painting on the pixel layer. Let's select darken again. You can not paint here. You can paint here, but it has no effect because of the blend mode of the brush. So this is normally if some strange effect, it's not necessary to reinstall the computer. Okay, guys, hope you liked it and I wish you have a nice evening. Bye.